But shalom, everyone, on this wonderful, beautiful Saturday afternoon. Um, it is August 1st, 2020 on the Gregorian calendar. And on the Hebrew calendar, it is Av 11. It is the 11th day of Av. Today, we're going to be covering Va Etch Kanan. And actually, it is spelled V A apostrophe E T C H A N A N. And that is the parashat for this week. And the Torah portion for that is Deuteronomy 3, um, chapter 3, uh, verses 23 to chapter 7, verses 11. And again, Va'eshkanan, the translation of that, and this is from the Messianic Jewish Family Bible, Tree of Life Version, TLB, it simply means, and I besought. We are also going to cover Haftarah, uh, and that will be Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 26. And then beyond that, we are going to go into the Brit Kadashah, which means the new covenant. And out of the new covenant, or the, we know it as the New Testament, um, we're going to have passages from Matthew and Mark. So thank you to whoever is taking the time to listen to this recording um, we've had some issues with trying to get it all into one. It's just has not happened yet. Uh, I supposedly have uh, permission to go beyond 15 minutes and have unlimited to be able to upload to YouTube, but I, that hasn't yet to happen. Um, <laughs> so where there's a will, there's a way. And if we have to do it in several parts to pull it all together, that's fine. Um, I we're still getting the word of God out. And that is the most important thing to me. And um, so if, if, if it has to be in four or five parts, so be it. Um, it's, it's still the same word of God. Amen. Amen. Now, before we get started with anything today, I want to bring about um, the announcements and let people kind of get settled in and ready to hear the word of God. Um, as, as some of you know, from the beginning, we started out simply, we were East Penn Valley Christian Center. Um, I had always had the intention of bringing um, the other half to our ministry, which is the Messianic Jewish piece to it, uh, because we are a whole body of Messiah, Jew and Jew and Gentile believers together. That has always been our mission. We have always um, presented ourselves that way, and we will continue to move forward that way and offer um Shabbat services as well as Sunday services, um, and that there is nothing wrong with that at all. We are actually trying to reach as many people around the world with with the Great Commission to make disciples of every nation, to let our Messiah be known everywhere, to let people know that it is only through Yeshua that you will have eternal life. This is such critical times. If you haven't gotten that in your bones, in your spirit, that we are in such critical times right now, um, then I urge you to wake up. Open up your eyes. Look at the chaos around the world. The body of Messiah needs to pull together what Pastor Noel and I have both talked about. What we see is all this nitpicky Christians attacking one another online. I mean, I don't see as much of it because I don't get involved in any of that. And I choose to not even read those kinds of things. And we will not tolerate it on our platform. We are a family of God and a family of God needs to operate on a whole. You know, we are the body. We call ourselves a body of Messiah. But again, the body doesn't attack itself. Not one member of the body is more important than the other. And I see people trying to inflate themselves as if they're they're superior to someone else. And that's not true. Yeshua does not look at either one of us as superior to the other. We are all from the same body. We all need to come together and work as a team, as a body functioning properly together. And once the body of Messiah is strong and functioning properly together, there's no stopping us as a whole. And we really need to do that and stop all this little nitpicky stuff. You know, you're to love one another. Yeshua said that. Well, how do you do that? You come together, you work together. 
not everybody's going to agree with everything. Grant you, because you know we're, we're all separate entities. Let's let's put it that way. But in the body of Messiah, we are all one, and we need to be tolerant of each other. We're all on the same page. I would hope so. So let's start unifying. That's one thing. So I don't know where that came, but that I kind of went down a little rabbit hole there that was not intended, but actually it was, you know, the Holy Spirit leads leads my mouth, and 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 apparently that was something that needed to be spoken today. Um, so praise God, Hallelujah for that. So on with the announcements. As some of you know, that we started out, we we had the intention, Pastor Noel and I, of having a small local church. Uh, group with having Shabbat services on a Saturday, having Sunday services, and just doing something locally. Well, as we were waiting for a building, it actually got sold out from under us because, of course, you know we had no funds at the you know at the beginning. We're just starting out, so there. Unfortunately, the building that we had looked at is now sold for apartments. It it, it was a full blown church, a uh, beautiful. Uh, full-blown church that uh, had 150 in the sanctuary. Well, that is no longer an option. So what God has done is just amazing. And we've watched this happen um, as we actually were, you know, building this ministry online. Uh, what we've also seen happen is it went in a completely different direction. Um, what we thought was going to be local uh, actually spread out. Uh, next thing you know, we've got nationwide membership on on our um, on our ministry page, and then it it just exploded internationally. So. For those of you that were with us from the beginning, you know we had to add the international piece to our name. And now we've got a lot of movement that's happening that we actually need to have a unified name as well. Um, so um, we are now Ms. the Waymaker Messianic Jewish and Christian Center USA. There is a Waymaker um, Dumaguete over in the Philippines. There's going to be a Waymaker in Ghana now and also a Waymaker in, in Pakistan. Um, and it's going to keep growing. Um, so, and this is what God is doing. And it's just amazing. And I'm not going to steal Pastor Noll's thunder on this because we're all under the umbrella of J. Ellen Noll Ministries as well. But just as you saw this happen, so that's just a little announcement I want to give to you. Things are moving despite our being shut in closed down, churches, synagogues not being allowed to open, um, it's not stopping the movement of God, nor will it ever. And we're going to move wherever God is taking us. This is God's ministry. We are simply stewards of it. And if God says, move in this direction, we're moving. And this is what's happening. So you're moving along with us and praise God for that. And um, the blessings are coming all the time. Uh, our Father is is definitely got our back with everything. Um, as you know, I had the intention of, of actually opening something that we don't have in the county that I live in is any Messianic Jewish worship at all. Um, you have to actually go to nearby counties to actually get that. So my hope and my hope still remains um, of planting that locally and then streaming it. So Recordings in the future will come more more of a live presentation um, than just recordings and 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 such. Um, so we're just going to have to evolve with that as 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 uh, things happen and and restrictions are lifted. Um, the other thing is as and we know as as an awake body of Messiah, this movement to shut down churches and to not allow you to sing, uh, one of the biggest warfare moves uh, against the enemy is praise and worship. And he knows that. So we're not going to allow that to, to actually stop either, which brings me to the next announcement, the free conference call.com. Okay. Is actually the, gives us the ability to come together as a congregation to gather as a group. We can actually, you can't do this on Facebook. You can actually watch live recordings and yes, you have, you have chatting going on, but you're not going to be able to do what we're going to be doing on freeconference.com. It is going to be like a service. Um, 
And we've demonstrated that with some people. We actually got together um, when we first we first uh, started the the free conference, and we actually had a powerful prayer night um, with about six people, and we're able to interact. Just we were testing it out. Um, it works very very well. Um, Pastor Noel and I um, actually were together the other night on it doing Tish B'Av and powerful, powerful move of the Holy Spirit. Um, And I'm going to encourage each and every one of you that's listening to this, please check your access. I don't need to be there. Pastor Noel doesn't need to be there to know that you can access it. None of these numbers are toll numbers. You're not going to get charged. I know um, it says toll, but that's not so. No one so far has gotten charged for this. And other other groups have used free conference as well. These are not toll numbers. I don't know why they have it listed as toll, because actually these are the free numbers that they gave to us. So the United States has one number. If you're calling in by phone, it has one number. And then you add, it'll ask for the access code number. So you put that in and you hit pound and you're in. Um, Other countries, you have a number two, uh, you know, designated for your country. You dial that number and add the access code, pound, bam, you're in. If you're having trouble, if your country is not listed on there, which I do know there's a couple that are not listed and I don't know why, I apologize, that's not, you know, it's, it's, it's not my format, but there is another way of getting in there. Um, and that is coming onto the website. Um, that website is listed. You click on, it'll bring you to the website. You'll, you'll add your, I think it's your email or your name, how you want to present yourself in your email or something like that. It's been a while since I, I actually did that for the first time. Um, I come into uh, Dr. Carter's free conference. I come into Dr. Um, to actually, um, to the Paul Bagley school. We use that as well, free conference on a Wednesday night. And it is the same. It's just another designated number for our page uh, for our group. Um, Everyone, when you register with free conference, you get your own, um, you get your own web page uh, for it to, to be linked into and your own phone number. So we've got our own and yeah, it was actually don't not to confuse anyone. It it will say East Penn Valley Christian center international. We registered before we did any name changes and I don't know that we can change the name. So we just got to live with that for now, but it works beautifully. So if you cannot access by phone, you can access by web. And the nice thing with the web, um, Two, if I do share something like, like if I want to share a PDF or a Word doc, you'll be able to see that uh, when we do teachings and, and what have you. Plus, there is a built-in audio microphone on the web. So you may not need to use your phone. It's a, there's a built-in. Um, the other thing that you can do, and I've done this uh, multiple times, I, I do this because I never know if my um, built-in uh, audio is going to work or not. I have an old computer, so I I like to make sure if I'm in a class that I'm not going to get bumped off and I can't hear what's going on. You can you can come in on phone and the web if you're using like a laptop. You can come in both ways. Of course, you're a little limited if you're just trying to access by your phone. So you might have to choose one way or the other. But everyone should be able to access this. And I'm encouraging everyone to practice accessing it because we're going to use this because we've been we've been actually shut down from being able to gather this is our gathering we're going to be able to gather as a congregation as a group of people to worship the lord Um, there's a recording mode um, because as you know i did actually post the recording Um, we can do praise and worship um, we can't record that piece because of copyright, um, of course, and we want to honor the copyright of the artists that have the music out. The other thing that we, we may do is actually invite some of these artists, 
um, that do worship music and bring them on to be part of the worship team and promote what they do as well. We may have separate sessions of doing that, but um, so we're, we're going to be able to do some praise and worship time. Um, I am going to be looking for people that want to be involved in live intercessory prayer. Um, and by doing that, um, I know Amanda, one of our mods had, had indicated she would like to be, be a leader, a prayer leader in this. So we're going to work together with trying to build that. So we have 24 hour, a 24 hour prayer team. We've got the, we've got people that are waking up at different times, uh, across the world right now on our group. So if we had 24 seven prayer, live prayer, we can use this free conference for people to come in and gather and pray over people to have real anointed prayer. The other thing I'd like to do with the intercessory prayer is, is, is to, um, have people engage in real spiritual warfare and knock down the strongholds of the devil. The devil is, you know, the prince of the power of the air and is, has actually been taking a real foothold in different cities and, and, and actually causing so much chaos. But we as the body of Messiah, Yeshua gave us the authority to put him under our feet and nobody is doing that um, to a degree that we can actually start doing that and gathering and doing real, real spiritual warfare um, and taking back what the devil has stolen and, and start getting, you know, getting our great commission out there and, and stop being stilted by the demonic forces. We need to put them under our feet in Yeshua's name, not in our name, but Yeshua died. His blood was spilt for this very purpose as well. So we need to, we need to know our authority. We need to take our authority that he's given to us. So that's another thing that I want to do with the free conference, um, dedicated area for us. Um, also to, to do some services and then we can, you know, we can have people gather. The beauty of this is, is there's, there's interaction, there's real true fellowship going on. No, it's, you know, from all over the world, we've had people that have access from India. They were not charged. We've, we've had uh, Hong Kong connections and other areas of the United States as well. There's been no toll charges. So I want to just say that um so people are not afraid to use it and there are those different avenues that you can get in to use it and if you have questions of of accessing um please reach out to pastor nall or myself because we're going to use this this is something the lord put in my spirit to use you know we're being we're being held back with with worshiping to him no there's ways and this is an avenue uh, and a place where we can actually do live worship. And so I know it's 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 different for people. Not everybody has used this service and they're not sure and people get a little shy when something new comes out. Please don't be shy. This is a beautiful service that, that um, is an opportunity for us to gather and to actually talk to one, one another, not just like type individual type, you know, and posts and things like that. It's live. It's happening. We can actually go, you know, have exchanges back and forth. And I also want to use this for people um, that um, are musicians. Um, we can actually, this is our tithing into you as well to help promote you. Um, you can come on, we can do an interview any way you want to. We'll give you the MP4. You can go do with it what you want to, to advertise. Um, but, you know, especially those that are a part of our ministry page, we want to promote you. And that goes for artists, um, the artists that we have, the authors. Um, let us know. We will set up a time. We will actually, you know, we'll actually do an interview. We can actually help to promote you and we'll give you the MP4. Um, we'll give you the recording um, as well for you to do with what you want to post on your own page. Um, we will certainly post it for you, um, on our page to help promote you. So there's, there's, there's a lot of things we can do with freeconference.com. It is just amazing what we can do because again, we have the ability to record or not to record. Um, 
So if we can do that, we can tie them to your music ministry, your whatever ministry that you're doing and help promote you as well. Um, so that's our way of tithing into other people. So that's just a little, I know I really went off here on, on the free conference thing. Um, I, again, I am going to implore you to take the time. This is, this is, was not just a post. It's actually something that we need you to engage in. So I know people go through posts and they, they like and they don't really realize what they're liking, please take the time to go and access this because you're going to miss out on some powerful, powerful things that are going to happen in this ministry. Because the longer that we can't congregate in churches and worship the way that God intended, we have to also, you know, go with what the Holy Spirit is leading us. And the Holy Spirit is leading us to do this. And get the word out no matter what. And this is an avenue of still being able to worship God, um, to be able to be together. And we know when one or two, one or more are together, when two or more, I should say, blah, scratch that. When two or more are gathered together, the Holy Spirit is there with us. So to stop us from congregating, that is very demonic. To stop us from actually praise and worship, that is also very demonic because that is a very, very, very powerful tool that the devil hates. So to stop us from praise and worship, no, we have to find other ways. We are, uh, we are abiding by the law per se, but we're able to congregate in freeconference.com. We're able to do praise and worship. You know, we can play music. We can sing along. We can do whatever we want to do in that room. And, and the word of God will proceed and go on. Um, it's not going to be stopped. God's not going to allow his word to be stopped by some demonic force. God is God. He's the creator. And we've got to go with the flow, with where he's leading us. And this is the way. So please, please, please check your access. If you're having problems, if you have questions, if you have worries about it, please bring it to Pastor Noel and myself. We have had this open. We've actually brought people in like individually and there's been no issues with it. So it is going to be a very powerful tool to use. Not only a powerful tool, very powerful things have happened. We've had, we've had some pretty heavy moves of the Holy Spirit each time that room has been used. So by all means, Let's get involved with this because we're going to move in that direction as more and more people are getting involved with that. And I understand people have schedules and, and other things going on, and you might not be able to make every session that we have, and that's fine. That's, the, that's why we have recordings. But it is much more powerful when we're all there and very much engaged right in the moment, and this is what we want to do. So please, please, please check your access. Um, if you're having issues, please let us know. We will work, try to work around that. And with that, I'm going to pause and I'm going to end the announcement for that um, at, at this point. And I'm going to pause and come back with a part two.